Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. We're going to end the week on Sunday on a beautiful Sunday afternoon with a nine race card. Let's check out this track and weather conditions and turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. Racing at Goldstream. From the rail, Wildcat Star away quickly. Lady Eunice moves to her from second. Luvia is away together with Superfine third and fourth. Up to fifth goes only time. Saving ground is Noble Present with the thought of you second last. The trailer is political astray. Into the far turn they race, and it's Jesus Rios and Wildcat Star with the rail advantage and the lead three parts of a length. Lady Eunice is there second at the rail. Superfine is now third. Luvia is fourth. Circling horses in the pink is only time. Noble Present is next, then without a view and political astray as they run to the top of the stretch. Wildcat Star has the lead. Lady Eunice moving to her. Luvia three wide. Looking for room at the fence is Superfine. Superfine going to try to thread the needle here as they straighten for the drive. Wildcat Star has the lead. Super fine down at the rail, got through and tries to quicken up. Eighth of a mile to go. Wildcat Star brushing with Super Fine. Super Fine has all the momentum now, and Super Fine is seven to five. Super Fine is in front. Super Fine wins by two. Second, Wildcat Star. Lady Eunice held third, then Luvia, and without a view. Outside, Meteorito, one of the first into stride, moving out the rail. That's boldness. Splitting horses wandering west won't be far away. Frankie Z is together with God's promise, and out the rail, it's Uno Tiger. Out of the chute, onto the main course with boldness in front by a neck. From the outside, Wandering West is there second. Toward the rail, Uno Tiger now moves into third. Out wide on the course, in God's promise, Meteorito is between horses. The trailer is Frankie Z. Chantel Sutherland and the son of big drama, boldness to the half mile point, leads three parts of a length. Wandering West gets the trip he wants second, latched on to the leader. Uno Tiger is third, God's Promise is fourth, Meteorito drops back, and Frankie Z is last. The opening quarter posted in a cozy 23 and 3. Here's Uno Tiger to force the hand of Jaramillo on Wandering West, who has a neck to get to Boldness. Now Wandering West makes his move at the 5 16 and takes the lead. Boldness is back to second. Uno Tiger is third. The rest are really not in shouting range right now with a quarter of a mile remaining. 46 and 2 for a half mile. Wandering West committed for home now on a length lead. Uno Tiger moves to him on the outside second. Boldness is out the rail third with an eighth of a mile left. Wandering West finding what he needs, and he's got three lengths in hand. Uno Tiger and Boldness battle for second, but odds on favorite Wandering West is clear to the finish. Wandering West by five in the end. Boldness outruns Uno Tiger for second. God's promise is fourth.
and uh, they're off. Good start in the center for Merlin. Good start out wide for Creative Kid. Now moving out the rail, that's Wildcat Echo, who won't be far away. And newcomer Granny Makes Sense is on the go early as they charge around the first turn. Merlin will have the lead into the first turn run from Wildcat Echo, who's on a strong hold to let him go while second. Granny Makes Sense is their third. At the rail, Cosmo Paul is their fourth. Up on the outside goes Creative Kid. Held up second last is Grand Sir, the early trailer, the race favorite, Beloved Warrior. So the favorites are first and last as they complete an opening quarter with second choice Merlin in front by two. Wildcat Echo is second. Granny Makes Sense is third. Cosmo Paul is together with Creative Kid who's up on the outside. In the clear for Chantal about four lengths behind. Second last is Grand Sir and held up at the back is Beloved Warrior as they go to the half mile point. Christian Torres trying to harness the speed of Merlin. He goes to the far turn on top by a length. Wildcat Echo second, Granny Makes Sense is third. At the rail, Cosmo Paul's traveled well enough into the contest. Giving ground on the turn will be Creative Kid, but he's launched four wide for a run. Granny Makes Sense making his bid. They both go after Merlin. Three furlongs remaining. Merlin still has a neck in front. From the outside, it's Creative Kid who's within a neck. Now Creative Kid is a neck in front. Granny Makes Sense has something to say about this battle. Three wide as and battling on is Creative Kid. From the back, Cosmo Paul and Beloved Warrior, they straighten for the drive. Out in the center, Creative Kid has the lead. Cosmo Cosmo Paul at the rail, Merlin down the center, beloved warrior, but Cosmo Paul now lifting up on the outside under Semi Camacho to take the lead. They can't get to him either. Creates Cosmo Paul clear. Creative Kid is second behind Cosmo Paul, who debuts a winner for Bobby Debona. Second, Creative Kid, third, beloved warrior, then Merlin and Granny makes sense. They're off. Slow to start, Sadi Purse. Quick to start with the outside duo, GT's Blue Squall and Miss Yaya sent through between horses. Ruby says on the go to take third. Two and a half back to Mavi, who's now fourth, the race favorite, JD's Vista. Away mid-flight, Nami improved. While a bit deep on the course, Princess Tereska's with her. Down at the rail goes Ma Coco and then Party Swagger as they head down the backstretch. From the inside, it's uh, Ruby Sa, who has a narrow lead, right alongside Miss Yaya, three wide GT's Blue Squall. These three go aggressively. The opening quarter, rock solid, 22 and one. On from fourth is Sade Purse, then on the inside to Mavi. Princess Tereska needs to do better than that, trying to rally from the back, JD's Vista. The only one behind her is Party Swagger as they run for home. Ruby Sa, Jose Morelos off the turn on top. GT's Blue Squall is back to second. Sade Purse on the outside, third. This Big favorite, JD's Vista cuts the corner better than eight lengths off the lead. And Rubisa clear. Rubisa inside the final furlong leads by three. Saudi Purse is now second. Here's the late run from JD's Vista, but far too late. Rubisa well prepared today. The daughter of Gone Astray wins geared down by five lengths. Saudi Purse second, JD's Vista third, and Princess Tereska finish fourth. Excellent beginning in the center for Simplify, who's headed off for the early advantage. Elusive Molly's going to run with her down at the inside era. Cindy up on the outside, Twilight. The early trailer is Mislo. Out of the chute, onto the main track. Jockey Franklin Callis has strong hold of Simplify, who's in front and leads by a length. Splitting horses, Eris Indy is now second with Twilight in the clear on the outside third. Elusive Molly was with the leader at the start, but is now back fourth, about four lengths off the pace. And then it's a gap of another five to the trailer, Mislo. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter at 9 to 5. Simplify is five furlongs from home and three on top. Eris Indy second, Twilight third, Elusive Molly at the rail fourth. Unhurried while out in the center, Mislow last of the five. There's half a mile yet to run.
Simplify went the opening half mob in 46 seconds flat and into the far turn. She's three better than her elusive Molly, who's at the rail second. Twilight is now wishing in third while three wide. Dropping back is Erisindi. Ms. Lowe has trailed throughout as they round the far turn. The storyline is simple. Can they catch Simplify? She's less than five sixteenths from home and two on top. Elusive Molly is second. Twilight is third. Ms. Lowe on the outside of Erisindi at the back as they straighten for the drive. Three quarters, one ten and one. They turn in. Simplify has two and a half lengths on everybody else as Elusive Molly takes aim to try to get after her. Back to third in Twilight, back to fourth in Mislo. Final eighth of a mile. Callus trying to get one sixteenth more from Simplify, who's still clear. Elusive Molly has tried her best, but her best is not good enough today. Simplify wins by two and a half. Elusive Molly second, Twilight third. They were well clear of Mislo and Arisindi. 136 and three. From the center, the stretch out speed of Nitro Time sends him to the lead from Churchill's victory angling over from the high draw. The rest are lined up behind them with the rail running diligent and the two path Long Beach kid. QE's three wide, Mr. Axel four wide at the back of the field. Running off on the top end, Nitro Time tries to slow it down. Chantel Sutherland has a big hold of him, but he's off the lead by four. Second is Churchill's victory. Third is Long Beach Kid. Mr. Axel's in the yellow, traveling along in fourth. Diligence in no hurry for Zaya. Second last, the trailer is QE. Into the back stretch they go. The opening quarter, rock solid, 23 and three. Nitro Time is rolling here. Nitro Time's gonna go as fast as he can for as far as he can. He bumps the margin to six. Second is Churchill's victory, trying to rate his own trip from Long Beach Kid third. Diligent is fourth ahead of Mr. Axel and at the rail, QE. The complexion's gonna change in about, uh, about three or four strides as moving up to take third is Long Beach Kid. QE just slammed on the brakes while trying to get to a similar position. Shuffling back is Diligent and still up front is Nitro Time. 48 and four for the opening half mile. A Nitro Time is all in and he's plummeting to the back of the group. It's Long Beach Kid who makes first run to take the lead. Churchill's victory clinging to him. Diligent on the outside toward the rail QE. In between Mr. Axel, five of the six with a chance as Long Beach Kid has the lead. Toward the rail, QE takes aim while trying to angle to his outside. Down the center and diligent with an eighth of a mile to go. It's still Long Beach Kid in front. QE elects to stay on the fence to try a late push, but Long Beach Kid is kicking with enough authority to win it. He's three to two, he's Long Beach Kid, and he's in front. QE is second, diligent is third, then Churchill's victory and Mr. X.
and they're off. In the center, Knight's Bird wins the break with Captain Cajun moving up. Neil fights on the far outside and striding forward. Splitting horses, Pork Chop, Smoking Bow is at the rail. Second last, Skipperini. Even his favorite is last, Mr. McQuay. He's about five lengths off the speed of Captain Cajun. Captain Cajun and Angel Arroyo to the far turn leads by a half. Knight's Bird is there second, three wide, and Neil fight third. Four wide, Mr. McQuay gaining ground. Blue Blinkers, sharp move from him. Another sharp move at the rail from Smoke and Bow. Look at him come on through. Smoke and Bow slaloms through horses and is up to stick his neck in front. Smoke and Bow to the top of the stretch, ridden with confidence by Edwin Gonzalez, and clear a length now. Captain Cajun caught off guard by the Blitz on this leader, and now he's trying to counterpunch, coming back through on the inside. These two put on some speed well clear of the others with 316s to go smoke and bow now asked to do some work but captain cajun is back for more inside captain cajun takes the lead again smoke and bow losing ground to him trying to get back on terms as smoke and bow as captain cajun driven out captain cajun is in front captain cajun with a very game performance here he beats smoke and bow they put on a show 105 and one They're off. Wonder Blondie off very poorly again today. The rider is out of the irons. He got it back, though. From the rail, Meet the Beauty was away the best, and she'll fire forward for Zayas. From the outside, the favorite all quality is away in second. Fighting the rating is Lady Dominance. Red colors down toward the inside. Passion Plus is on her outside, then back to the team of his adorable Aida and Free Data. They're a length and a half better than Snow Shower, who's well settled while third last. After a slow getaway, Wonder Blondie is second last, and Indicia last of all as they chase the speed of Meet the Beauty. Meet the Beauty into the backstretch on top by half a length. All quality is there second. A gap of three. Passion Plus now third. Lady Dominance is at the rail fourth and is adorable. Aida and Free Data outside and Wonder Blondie third last. No Shower is second last while on hold. And the trailer is Indicia. Down the backstretch they go. There's less than five furlongs to race. Up front, Meet the Beauty maintains a narrow lead. Turning up the pressure is all quality second, three ahead of Passion Plus third. Lady Dominance is at the rail fourth, followed by the gray free data. On her outside is adorable Aida. Snow Shower begins to make some ground. Wonder Blondie second last. Indicia is last as they round the far turn. All quality is now up to take a narrow lead. Meet the Beauty is back to second and all in. From the back, free data and is adorable Aida. To try to get rallies going. Snow Shower is going to wheel out for the drive with a quarter of a mile remaining. Off the turn and the stretch drive, all quality. Turns for home on top, two and a half is adorable. Aida takes aim, second passion plush from between horses, then free data. There's an eighth of a mile to go, all quality with work to do, but she is in front. Is adorable Aida charging at her. 16th to go, is adorable Aida starts to gain some ground. On the inside, all quality, all quality holds on. All quality turned away is adorable Aida with free data charging third in 146 and two.
From the center, Billy Yank was away smoothly, not away smoothly at all, was Ziggy, he veered to the inside and is now out in the center while trying to catch up. From the center, Notarak is now put into play by Marcos Manessis to take the lead from Chucky, who's away in second. Congrats again is third. After a smooth beginning, the race favorite Billy Yank settles in fourth. Outside fifth, Super Sniper. Splitting horses in Mr. Einstein with Sandy Dude at the rail. Way out in the center is Ziggy after the bad start, and the trailer is Linguist. Five-eighths left to run. Long shot in Notarak has the lead three parts of a length. Morelos has strong hold of Chucky, latched onto the leader while second. They're stacked and packed behind him with Sandy Dude at the rail on the far outside Ziggy. From between, congrats again alongside Mr. Einstein and Billy Yank. Super sniper not keeping up, and the back marker is Linguist through a 47 and two half mile. Around the far turn they go. Here's Chucky to stick a neck in front. Notarak is all in second. Congrats again is in the gold and black. He's now third. At the rail, that Sandy Dude fourth from between horses. Billy Yank angles for racing room. Then back to Ziggy, dropping back Mr. Einstein. Underway from the back is Linguist with a quarter of a mile remaining. Chucky has traveled well into the race, and he has a quarter of a mile more to get with three lengths in hand. Congrats again is second. Nona Rack third. Sandy Dude and Billy Yank are next, and they're at the top of the stretch. Now Morelos asks Chucky to finish it up, and Chucky is doing everything he wants them to do. He's well clear out of here. Congrats again. It's going to try to cling to second. Then Billy Yank and toward the rail. Nona Rack for a slice. But at 9-2, to two, it's Chucky in front. Chucky wins well. He won by five in the end. Up second, Billy Yank. Then congrats again. Sandy Dude is fourth, 138 and four. And that wraps up the week's action. We're Doc for Live Racing on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be back here on Thursday afternoon with an eight-race card. Our first race post will be 12.50 p.m. So make sure you come out and join us. Good night. Good luck. Have a safe couple of days.